So do you think it is time for black people to finally separate from all other races and build our own yes. planet? <laughs> yes. Yes. I S U P K. Gave me a deuce deuce and a bundle of cocaine. Told me to sell to my people, make sure you keep him feeling. If any try to show you, make sure that you leave him leaking. He said, I'ma hold you down when problems pop up. How you got me moving this dope? Want me in lock up? He said, Don't you want the best vertical with the top cut? Yeah. Stop bitching. Get in that kitchen. Native Indians and Latinos are the lost of child of children in Brazil, according to the Bible, it's shell of them. Alright? And today, so a couple of questions I'm going to ask all this based upon the situation right now. Right? To the murder of George Floyd, of course, other murders that black people kind of talk. There's definitely talent, right? Yeah. And the protests are going on right here, right? So, for the murder of George Floyd by the police in America and the protests. No for it, right? What are your thoughts on it? No peace! No peace! Question number three, right? So, in the, so since in the days of slavery, black people was protesting. Why? Not, why hasn't this um so this, basically? I think it's because we protest for a while and then we realize nothing is changing, so we stop. I think it's time that we stop giving up. We keep trying and we keep pushing forward and we show that hey, this country wouldn't be here without us. And I also think that um, adding to what I said, I also think that protesting is a mindset. Yeah. Is every day you live as a black person, you are protesting, right? Because at the end of the day in America, you walk as a black person, it's a threat. We have to think about it as we are a representation of millions of generations who died, who were killed, who were slaughtered. I think that within, with, with, in this day and age, we're protesting. I think we need to look at it from, as I said before, not only look at it as just for coming and going up a sign. I think we need to look at it as a movement, as a mindset, and you're waking up, you're protesting. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so that, that, so that protesting is not just coming out and shouting no justice, no peace, it's protesting businesses that don't support black cause, it's spending black dollars, supporting black businesses that are form of protest, because that's the only way we see change. The reason why that the protests don't work is because they just wait first to be like, all right, we try, we'll wait our next 20 years when something else big happens and then we'll try again. Right. The protest is more than just coming out and saying no justice, no peace. According to the Bible, white man, do you think that the white man is dead? No, I don't think so. I think, I think when we talk about when we bring it. Right, let me, sorry, let me, let me get a little bit more context into what you're talking about, right? Okay. Devil just means deceiver. You right. understand in Latin Diablo. Right? right. A man that doesn't keep his promises. Right. Make cheaties. You understand? It's a protect and serve. Right. Kill and murder. Right? right? So that is what, from that standpoint you're talking about, that is what the Bible talking about. I'm Christ was talking about yeah, the father did that, because that is what is good to see. Right. Yeah. Um, in regards to 
but I can't generalize my entire race as saying white man um, have well deceived well the deceived black people and that kind of thing. Um, I think that when we speak about the Bible, we speak about well, we talk we talk about equality. We talk about um, we talk about love. One main message is love, right? One of his main messages is love, and um, I think that we shouldn't really generalize our entire race and say the white man is the devil. I feel like that kind of ignorant towards like. I feel like it, it, it really, it don't, to me it don't make sense saying that. I feel like they have certain ways, certain white men have certain ways and they do do devious things. But generalizing and taking a whole race and saying, oh the white man is the devil, I feel like that could bring, that could bring, that could introduce hate. Right, let me get another side bar as well, right? Mm -hmm. If you understand that um, this Bible was, let's say a father, right? Giving instructions to one house, so one family. Right. Persons, everybody around, you say, all right. They want you to go in the river without the big brother, right? right. That is the Bible basically in a nutshell. The Bible is written to one people. So one day you go, one day you live in it. That is it. You see why people just think, you know, when they talk about love your enemy and stuff like that, right. they think that's not the, the deceiver. In the Bible, what you do is you tell the slaves to obey your masters. Right. But it's not talking about taking licks and being raped right. and that kind of not talking about that. Right. Right. You understand? So that's why you have a lot of this push, this, this proportionate um, methodologies and, right. and mindsets about the Bible. So we'll have to put a lot of white people into their purpose. Yeah. 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 It depends on if they really for the cause. Because like Ash was saying earlier, not all white people are going to be against us and going to be coming down for us. And if we really want equality, we can't just push all of the white people out. We have to include some of them in order to show we're not as bad as your brothers and sisters making us seem. We can't continue dividing all of us because of what? If they agree that Black Lives Matter too, then they should be allowed to come protest with us. I think, um, in that regard, with white people, I think, well, again, well, with, with white people, um, I believe, like, I would not mind, to be honest, um, in Palmville, I say if you come out of your free will to come to protest on behalf of black people, that is what you and of course it not saying and of course it my beliefs on you, that is what you choose to do. If I say if, if you come and you disrespect us a different story. But if you come into people protest in our case or whatever and kneel and whoever you have to do, I say go ahead and do it. Yeah. All right, last question, right? So, do you think it is time for black people to finally separate from all other races and build our own Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. Yes. 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 All right, thanks again. I ain't at the die to meet the devil. Angels fell and landed in the ghetto. The earth was given to the hands of devils. Then we seen the rise of the devil. We fell for the lies of the devil. When we got high, was the devil. I looked into the eyes of the devil. I ain't at the die to meet the devil. I remember I was only 13 when I met the demon. Gave me a deuce deuce and a bundle of cocaine. Told me to sell to my people, make sure you keep him feeling. If any try to show you, make sure that you leave him leaking. He said, I'ma hold you down when problems pop up. How you got me moving this dope? Want me in lock up? He said, Don't you want the best vertebra with the top cup? Yeah. Stop bitching, get in that kitchen, let it rock up. Bitches love the dope boy, especially when it's pop up. I know you know why. Who the plug from by the block up? I'll tell you a little secret, make sure. Sure that you keep your mouth shut. Ron got a Lexus, crib in Philly and Texas. Trips to the Bahamas, just got a whip for his mama. He fucking up the commas, be honest, he seen decent though. I hear you, but I just seen Ron about a week ago. In fact, he ain't looking too good. His knees is kind of slow. I asked him why the struggle, he got stuck up for his bundle. But them six hollow tips in his legs were...